The phrase trauma bond is used to describe the connection between an abuser and their victim in an abusive relationship. But abuse doesn't happen all the time, otherwise there would have been no connection formed. The abuse alternates with love bombing in what is called a cycle of abuse. And this cycle of abuse creates what is called an intermittent reinforcement ratio schedule, which is a lot like gambling. And it makes the abused person in this position addicted to seeking information that's gonna let them know how to stay ahead of the game that is inevitably going to take them, just like the house always wins. So here are five signs of trauma bonding from a licensed therapist and certified trauma professional, and make sure you listen to the end because they're all equally important. First, distorted perception. What you find normal in your relationship, other people seem to be shocked by. This often happens because the normalization of the abuse of manipulative, coercive behavior as the victim is groomed over time and the temperature and intensity of the abusive behavior is turned up. Second, doubting the abuse. Sometimes we can see their abusive behavior very clearly, while other times we find ourselves asking, am I being too sensitive? Was that actually abusive? Third, fear of leaving. If you left, fear of what they might do to you or do to yourself or loved ones, often feeling very responsible for their well-being despite not being able to make their decisions for them. Fourth, conflict bonding, where the victim starts to seek out active confrontation because we can convince ourselves that right afterwards it's going to cool down again with the love bombing. So we feel like we have control in setting it up, even if we're going to lose control with the way it tends to ramp up. And fifth, an obsession, even an addiction to what the abuser is up to from the victim, even if this actually puts the victim back in harm's way. This is a survival response left over from where the victim is able to tell ourselves that the more information that we can gather about the environment, the better chance we have of keeping ourselves safe. However, we run into an inflection point in the healing and protecting ourselves process, where at some point, putting ourselves in that harm's way actually gets us wrapped up into the cycle of abuse again, and learning to disengage requires painful, confusing, however completely doable, counter-conditioning.